Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's question is, is my relationship considered normal? Well, every couple's idea of normal can vary, but if you're here asking the question, there's probably something going on that you're feeling a little uncomfortable about. Maybe it started out different and things have changed along the way after a couple of years together, maybe after 10 or 15 years together. Start asking yourself certain questions. Do you feel safe with your partner? Do you feel that you have to walk on eggshells around them? Do you feel that everything revolves around what they want to do and your opinion doesn't matter? You really have to be always able to talk to your partner in your relationship. And if the person, your partner is not answering your needs or not wanting to talk to you about what's happening, this is not going to get any better. You've got to lure them in and talk about it when it happens. Don't wait till it's too late and they don't even know that what they're doing or see what they're doing because they've done it for so long. Don't let things go. It's so important to always address the things that are upsetting you. You should never have to, to bow down to anybody or take a back seat or let somebody, you know, have their temper tantrum when you sit back and just let all these things happen. It's not right. So if you're more of a re routine person and your partner wants to try new things all the time, so you're always feeling like you have to keep up to them or you have to be somebody that you're not, you can compromise in this situation because it is really good to get out of being that routine person. It's great to add new things to your relationship and keep it fresh all the time. So there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're feeling like you're constantly having to do this with somebody and it's starting to give you anxiety because every time you turn around, they want you to try something different and you're not okay or comfortable with that, it's not going to work long term if you don't express this to them. Another thing, if your sexual compatibility has changed, you started out maybe a little vanilla and now they want to add new things. They want to bring in polyamorous relationships or they want to try all these different techniques that you're not comfortable with. That will definitely make you feel like your relationship is out of the normal zone. You still need to talk about it. We don't all evolve at the same time in our relationships. When we do, that's fantastic. Unfortunately, that doesn't always happen. So you need to be very careful that you are always communicating. Don't think that things are just going to go away or slide under the rug if you don't talk about them. If you're asking the question, is my relationship normal? Something is going on that you're not okay with anymore. And don't let it sit there and fester so that it becomes something so uncontrollable that it can't be fixed anymore because if you keep giving in or, or always having to be that person that just okays everything you're going to resent it down the road and that's not good because when you start to resent your partner you pull away from them and you check out and if they want to do diff different things all the time and you're not accommodating a little bit to them they will check out so I really suggest that if you're feeling your relationship has shifted at all and it's in a different dynamic, sit down and talk about it. The reason it's called a partnership is because you're partners. You're supposed to do things together, discuss things together, communicate together. Don't forget that part of the arrangement of when you first met each other. Even if it wasn't said in your vow, it's kind of a given. This is what happens when you're committed to somebody in a relationship. So if you're questioning anything in your relationship, please don't let it go on for too long. Sit down and talk to them, address the situation, and see if you can come to some form of a compromise. Maybe they're bored, maybe you're bored. Find something in the middle where you can both grow together. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please keep your questions coming. I love hearing from you. Please subscribe to my channel. And I really appreciate it when you like the video as well. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.